Hey everyone, Charlene Bauer, Ladies Offer and at Work, and it's the last day of March. Where did March go? March is a crazy month. March was definitely a crazy, crazy, crazy month. <laughs> but we did it. We survived March, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of laughing at some of the posts on Facebook today that say, when we wake up tomorrow, it's just going to be a big April Fool's joke. Hmm, don't we wish some days, don't we wish, but we're going to make this and uh, this March has been one for the record books with a lot of positive that's come out of it too. So there's a lot of positive stuff going on. I'd love for you guys to type in as you're saying your hellos, what your positive has come out of this so far. Like I have the cleanest toilet on the street or I finally got my yard weeds pulled or you've done something that is something you never would have had time for <laughs> before. So what is that something that you've been doing? Um, today we have a lot to talk about, as always. The chair made it into the office, scooched it into the office because we had, I needed like this desk for all of our giveaways. It is giveaway day, woo woo! Throw some hearts for giveaway day, because we love giveaway day. Uh, we're going to talk about the networking that's happening this week. We have another special guest coming on. Uh, we're going to talk about the resolution. I sent out an email to everybody last night, but we'll just hit on that really fast. Uh, the challenge next Tuesday. We start the signups for the challenge. Yay. So who can hardly wait for the challenge? The challenge is so exciting. Um, we'll talk about shirts for a minute. We will talk about the impact because that is awesome and so much positive, right? So as y'all are saying your hellos, type in something that you have gotten done that you would not have been able to get done because we were all too busy. Like you have the cleanest toilet or you finally mopped your floors. Like that's my thing. I hate mopping. <laughs> so, so what is that thing that you've done? that is positive. You've gotten it off your list and you may not have been able to do it before. So let's think about this for a second, right? Like there's things that we can control and there's things that we can't control, but there's a lot, there's a lot that you can control right now. And there's a lot that you can control in the positive space of where we're sitting and where we're thinking. You can control your sleep, your sleep routine. You can control how you speak to yourself. If you're speaking positively, like I got this, or if you're saying, oh, in the negative zone, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, but in a negative way. You gotta be in the positive speak. You control who you follow on social media. Not to be weird, but there's some people that we just don't need to follow, <laughs> right? Um, you control what you eat, by the way. Cold Stone happens to be still open, at least here. Yes, this apparently is a necessity <laughs> in the world of food. Uh, but you control what you eat, right? Uh, you control your mindset. So you're controlling your mindset. Do you want to have a positive mindset or do you want to have a negative mindset? If we let that go to that negative, well, that's going to be where we're going to end up, right? If you control it into the positive zone, we're always going to have that positive nest. You control how you treat others. Smile, say hello, say have a great day. I went mountain bike riding this morning. Every single person I pass, I'm like, isn't it a great day? Doesn't that give somebody a different perspective other than have a great day? Isn't it a great day, right? How do you treat other people? What's your level of honesty? Like being real about what's happening, but at the same time being positive about what's happening. Yeah, we can dwell on the negative, but we don't know all the negative, right? So. Let's dwell on what you're typing in right now. All the cool stuff that you haven't that you haven't had time to do that you're gonna do. Like, has anybody done their baseboards yet? Right? Um, you have control over your outlook, out over that future. Over, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna handle it. We're gonna have a good end result to this. We don't know what the end result is. None of us do, but we're gonna have a good end result to it. And you know what? You also control how soon you try again after you fail. And that's in everything we do. So you control that as well. Like 
yes, we all fail. I fail. Let's not lie about it. <laughs> but do you control how you get back up and you get back on the horse, you get back on the dirt bike, you get back behind the wheel, you get back and go and you say, I can do this. So I know there's some people that are challenged in the moments. You're in a rut, but you're not stuck in that rut because that's not a failure. It's just that way that we can get going again and we can get focused again. And maybe we need to try something different. And that's what the world is all about right now. Adjust and try something different. Adjust and try something different. So um, I'm loving, I'm watching you guys <laughs> write in what you've done. So we've got some painting going on. We got a lot of cleaning going on. I want to know if anybody's down to the baseboards yet. I haven't got to the baseboards yet, but <laughs> I see them coming. <laughs> yeah, I got to get the motorhome so I have something else to clean now. <laughs> but anyways, there's a lot of things that you can control in this world when you don't feel like you have any control. So take a minute, stay focused, stay positive, breathe it out, girls. Go for a walk. And guys, I know there's guys out there. Go for a walk around the block, even if it's yucky outside, just do it, get that fresh air, and then come back and make it happen. Okay? With that being said, the resolution is our first topic. So last night, everybody got a email, or yesterday afternoon, everybody got an email, and then everybody got texted from uh, myself and Camille. Thank you guys for responding back. It was a lot of fun talking to people last night. Uh, via text, but I'm really excited. So I made the announcement last week that we were extending the resolution to November, but I made the final uh, text and everything got changed on the website and everything and everything got changed throughout the week to where yesterday the text went out, the email went out, the recap went out, and it was really cool because it made me recap also, this is the email, it made me recap also what we did and why we made that decision, which we've been over the why plenty of times, so that's good there. But here's all the resolutions. Here's all the how-tos that you can complete right now if you haven't already. And I did get on and I did go look at people's pictures like, you guys have been rocking it. I love it. So you can do the washing of your vehicle. You can do the cabin filter, the fuel filter, the transmission fluid the transfer case fluid, the differential fluid, your air filter, your oil change and filter. You can do the tires and wheels section. You can do your fuses, batteries, and the safety act, and the safety piece, okay? So that's a lot. You have the ability to get done right now. And again, if you haven't already signed up for the resolution, it's reopened, so you can join us now. You have plenty of time to join us. And it's ladiesoffroadresolution.com. Somebody can type that in, that would be spectacular. Um, here are the ones that are coming. So they've already been shot, I just need to edit them and post them. But there's another 12 coming, okay? Plus I need to clean up a couple, like that uh, washing one. Yeah, that video is getting cleaned up, don't worry. <laughs> um, so here's the ones that are coming soon. The power steering pump, clutch, brake fluid, brake pads, spark plugs, coolant, greasing, bolt checks, frame checks, shocks, lights, and wipers. So there's still 12 more that are coming and uh, you guys will be able to work through those. I gave you the list because uh, I've been hearing people say, well, I need to do this or I need to do that. And I'm like, well, wait, that's part of the resolution. But of course you don't know that, or I don't think you knew that. So there's the entire list. It's on your email if you're part of the resolution. If you're not, sign up. Let's get you rocking and rolling. Let's get you going. And you can be right in the mix of this. So it's videos on the how-to and then a huge written area on the how-to um and vocabulary and the why we're going to go through and clean up some of the videos and add in a lot of the why so that you guys can have more information on that side in the video instead of just having to read it so i'm really excited about that so that is the resolution yay 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 we have until november to be awesome to learn to dig out of the snow <laughs> to get 
to get out under your vehicle when it's freezing. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> um, and we'll go from there. So, and sometimes we just need a whole year to complete a resolution. But we do have a lot of time. So I am excited about that for all of us. Um, next big topic. This is another big one. Very excited about this is the challenge. So the challenge is opening on next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we would be in Moab and we would be at a huge event and it would be a complete cluster and I would be announcing the challenge in the middle of this event and it was always difficult. <laughs> it was always a fluster. And so, yay, you guys have my full attention next Tuesday to where we get to announce the challenge and open it up for everybody to join. We'll have, I think, three weeks, three to four weeks for people to join before we actually start it. So we have plenty of time to make sure everybody knows about it and that it's out there. But it's the same format. It's going to be 10 weeks. It's going to be 11 challenges. And the top 10 ladies get to come and hang out with me on a four-day weekend of amazingness. So uh, we're not exactly sure on the when to that. I do have it scheduled in the planner, but everything in the planner is a little <laughs> changing at the moment. <laughs> Again, what do we control? We control our outlook. <laughs> so that's part of it, right? Our outlook is very positive. We don't know when, but we're going to do it. That's a for sure. Um, so the challenge is next Tuesday. If you already know about it, Awesome. Make sure your friends join us next Tuesday so that they can uh, be a part of the initial moment of us joining that challenge. All right. Um, and then what's next on our list? Um, let's talk about shirts. So we did, we just shut down and shipped out the long sleeve polka dot shirt. Super cute. I've actually seen some of the girls wearing it. Uh, Erica was wearing her red one today when I bopped into her. Uh, Camille had hers on the other day. Like, they're so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, guys. But most importantly, I really want some big thumbs and some big hearts here. Is we raised actually over $500 for the Jesse Combs Foundation. And that's all on you, ladies. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that, for being a part of it. That's a big deal. Let's throw down some hearts for everybody that participated in that. Um, we did another one today, so that's 520. So it's out there. I still have some long sleeve shirts left. If you'd like one, contact me directly, and I'd be happy to uh, see if I still have your size or what we have going on. Um, same with fluffy jackets. If you want a fluffy jacket, contact me directly. I may have one in your size left. So we have just a few left over. And I'd be happy to make sure that you get one if you didn't have the opportunity at the time. So that's that. I also got in um, the short sleeve shirts. So we tested in some short sleeve shirts, some black and some teal. And uh, girl v-necks. And also the guy shirts since that was requested. And so I will be working on those. Um... <clears throat> Don't expect them to launch next week. I would probably expect them to launch the week after that, but you never know. We'll see how we'll see how it all goes uh, in the mix of time this week. I may get them up earlier and be able to launch those next week as well. If we do that, that's a huge launch. That's the challenge and a shirt on the same night. So I don't know if I can handle it. Can you guys handle it? Do you guys want me to launch the t-shirts next week? Yes? No? Maybe so. <laughs> All right. We'll see how that goes down. Um, okay. We still have the impact. We got all of our giveaways back here, right? We have the impact. We have our giveaways. And we have the networking. So networking is next on my list. It was so much fun last week. I'm digging this whole online networking and everybody that I'm talking to is as well. And I really encourage you guys to join. Please, please, please. It was so much fun. We had Greg Mulkey on from Raceline Wheels. And he took 20 minutes to talk about wheels 
and the technology behind them. Like there's a ton of technology behind wheels that people don't really realize. And then um, he went on to talk about the bead locks and differences in metals and the maintenance that you need in order to take care of your bead locks versus your regular wheels, et cetera, et cetera. It was just really neat to get involved and have him speak to you about wheels. Like I love talking clearly, but I also love bringing the people who have educated me directly to you to be able to have them talk to you about it. So with that being said, uh, I did at the end of each call last week, ask, okay, what do you guys want to learn? Like, again, this is back to you. This is all about you. I'm just hosting the party. <laughs> you guys got to show up to the party. So I'm like, what do you want to learn? And uh, I got some great notes and I called a group of people and the first person that called me back is the one that gets to go this week. <laughs> so this week will be Adam Wood from, um, from Step 22. You guys remember, if you guys took the trail training class this year, you guys remember this, uh, this short, short uh, recovery strap that I was hanging out with. And I pointed out the labeling, right? So Adam actually is step 22. This is his company. And he is going to be online with us tomorrow and Thursday night talking about the, the labeling and about weights and about strength and about all of that of recovery gear, meaning mostly straps, okay? So that is the big topic of tomorrow night, which I think is really cool. And he's going to talk for, again, about 20 minutes, and then it goes into a Q&A for 20 minutes. So in the email last night that I sent out to everyone, it says networking this week. Um, there's four registration zones that you can register for. There's four different options, Wednesday or Thursday, and then the two different time slots. So you can register for whichever one you want. It's free to register. You don't have to be a member, none of that. You just need to join in so that we can get you the link that you need in order to be successful to join us. And, um, and then we have a lot of fun. So you get in and you start chit-chatting and I'm going to talk about a different education topic first. I'll always go over something first. And then our guest will come on, which this week again, it's going to be Adam with Step 22 where he's going to talk about the strength of the straps and the labeling of straps. And then you'll have about 20 minutes to ask him a bunch of questions. So please come with your questions. And then it's your story time. So hopefully you guys will come up with a great story that you can tell and we can all leave laughing. Like literally we all left laughing after every single one of the networking events last week. And that's what I enjoy. So I really appreciate that from you guys as well. You guys have a ton of stories, just like I do, but it's your time to tell the stories. And I get to sit back and laugh and listen to them. Um, the other piece on the last night's email is I gave you two links to Adam. So his website, so you can go do a little bit of investigation work ahead of time. And then he did write an article for us just after we got back from the chill training class last year that has all of the information about the labels on it. So if you want to do a little bit of pre-research, that link is on there as well. And it's another one of those daily dirts that we have on our website. There's a ton of education on our website if you just go dig into it at ladiesoffroadnetwork.com. So sign up. Don't let this opportunity slide you by. I am giving you guys a ton of opportunities for education. That's what we're about. I can't be out doing it, so we're going to bring it online. And in fact, I think that this is a way cooler plan anyways, and you're probably going to get stuck with it. Or maybe I should say I'm going to get stuck with it. I'm not really sure. I'm still kind of digesting the working three nights a week, but we'll work on this. And uh, if that's what it takes to be there for you guys, I'm all in. All right. Um, okay. So that's all of the updates for everything. Are you guys ready for some giveaways? Let's get some drum rolls going here. 
So let's start off with our impact. Uh, impact for March was awesome. Thank you guys for putting it all together and getting in there. There's a lot of people that made impacts on each other. This is grandma's bowl. We have a bunch of impact stories in here. And you know, um, it was really awesome to read them before we folded them up. I love that some of you are taking a minute and recognizing yourself. And that's a very hard thing to do. Trust me, right? It's a very hard thing to recognize yourself sometimes. It's so easy to recognize the good in people around us and how they impact us. But to take a minute and actually say, I did this and this was a positive impact, I think uh, that is probably the hardest thing that you can do. So I'm really proud of those that were able to do that. And I encourage you, especially again, this is a challenging month, right? Uh, once we get the March, April, April one up tomorrow or late tonight, go in there and set something up about yourself. Like you have made some kind of an impact and it does matter. So this is our bragging bag, right? With our spoiler alert, it's not a car. Uh, so I went out and uh, again, thanks to Camille. Camille has made a big impact on me this month. She literally brought a machete over and worked on the backyard, which was hysterical to one degree and awesome to another degree. Um, but she also helped me clean out a corner of the shipping room. And so I found all kinds of cool stuff. So that's what is in the bag today. So this is the Off-Road Like a Girl. It's a clothing line. So you get a koozie and a bag. And then, of course, we all need a beer opener right now. And we need some chapstick, of course. But most importantly, from Azunia Tequila, we need a... What is this? A lime, a lime or lemon feeder, <laughs> a juicer, <laughs> because that's where we're at right now. So this is from the Azunia Tequila. They have a, uh, a, <laughs> uh, a nice little hook right there. Mm -hmm. This is what everybody needs in their world is a lime juicer or a lemon juicer. And then you need a bag from Off Road Like a Girl, a koozie from Off Road Like a Girl, and a beer opener from West End, and some chapstick, because you can never have enough chapstick. <laughs> no, it doesn't come with the tequila. The tequila is staying. That's staying. <laughs> Sorry about your luck. I can't, I can't send alcohol over borders, maybe. I'm going to go with that though. All right. <laughs> so this is a new tool, a new tool that we just uh, need very dramatically. But <laughs> so that's our bragging bag. Too funny. Just like a random bunch of stuff that I found. And so let's see what story we get to tell today. Oh my gosh. I wish there was somebody else here that can pick it. Ooh. Oh boy. All right. This is a long one, but it's totally worthy. So everybody sit back for a second, except for you that have your finger on your heart, 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 because are you ready for this? All right. <laughs> so this is going to, this was written by Wendy Norton and it's about Trisha Krantz. We all know how cool the resolution is and all of the incredible things we are learning. Well, Trisha Krantz has had an impact on me that goes beyond the resolution. So 10 months ago, I had a major stroke and through it looks like I have made a complete recovery on the outside. I still have deficits that are challenging on a daily basis. Trisha has come to my house shop almost every Saturday and some Sundays for the past two months to work on the resolution, but it didn't stop there. We began working on many different modifications to both our Jeeps. Um, Nakati, I think is how you say that, is Trisha's Jeep and Shark Bait is hers. She pushes me to overcome my deficits but never allows them to define me. She even noticed via text that I was in a bad situation while driving, voice text since I was driving, 
one night and jumped on the issue and led me back home safely. So I can't imagine how someone could ever have ever impacted me more than Trisha Krantz. For that, I'll always be grateful for her. Without her knowing it, she drives me to keep pushing for 100% recovery, and she has become a lifelong friend. How awesome is that? Yay. And there's quite a few of these amazing stories in the impact zone. So if you haven't even been in there just to read them and to support, um, please do because this is what our impact zone is all about. So the resolution started their, their uh, friendship and um, it sounds like it has gone much further from there. So Trisha, you are the new owner of a lemon lime squeezer <laughs> along with a few other things so that is uh, the offered like a girl koozie and the bag and the chopstick and of course the beer opener and I'm sure that you guys will get a lot of use out of all of this so Wendy I saw you just pop on we just read your story about Trisha Trisha just got the um the what is it brag and bag the brag and bag from the impact awards so very awesome story love it we will have the april one up uh tonight tomorrow so you guys can start on your april impacts and keep paying attention there's a lot of people around you that are making an impact on you if they're a member write it up if they are not a member or you make an impact on somebody Write about yourself. It's okay, and it's a great thing. It's a great thing. So, love that. Love that. Um, okay. Giveaways. So tonight, we gotta get the other bowl out. Here's the big bowl. And again, Camille got the job of cutting everything yesterday all kinds of stuff and she mixed it all up and I added a few more today from the people that signed up last night and this morning so I just did it before we went live just finished her up so that mixed it up um so tonight for our March giveaway we had the Canon air filter so this will be a Canon air filter set for your vehicle which is really exciting um just depending on what you have, we'll set you up with the oil filter, air filter. If you have a cabin filter, we'll set you up with all that. So Canon has been generous to be a part of this. As you guys remember, we've had quite a bit of education on the Canon over the last few nights, a uh, few weeks, including this awesome Canon air filter that came out of my Banshee that we're not going to drop on the floor this time so I don't have to mop. But here's a dirty one on the outside, but it's clean on the inside. So we we're talking about how to clean them and how they look yucky on the outside and then the outerwear that goes over the top in order to keep things nice and clean. So you guys can go back. If you go to ladiesoffroadnetwork.com slash giveaways, you can go to now into the past giveaways and uh, be able to see all the links that will take you to the timestamp that has that information for you throughout the month. Yay, so that was the Canon. So we have that to give away. We have the Coyote Deflators, and of course, the Crawl Magazine or the Trails Magazine, uh, whichever one you choose. A lot of people are like, give me a magazine to read, Charlene. So, are you ready? What are we gonna do first? How about Coyote Deflators first? Yes. Coyote Deflators first. This one, all right. I just forgot to mute my phone before we went live, sorry. That's why it keeps dinging at you, trust me. We have all kinds of weirdness going on. And the zing zing, that new one, is uh, WhatsApp. Yeah, I gotta love WhatsApp. So this is for the Coyote Deflators. And the winner is, winner is, Heather Browning. Yay. She says, I love Canon filters and coyote regulators. Pick me. 
Heather Browning, we picked you for the Coyote Deflators. Woo woo! Congratulations to Heather. Heather Browning got the Coyote Deflators this month. All right, we got to put these with these. You guys been playing with that to you? So I'm going to give you a heads up while we uh, move on to the next one is pay attention to the website this week. Uh, there's going to be some pretty major changes to it, especially if you jump on to one of our networking events. I'll tell you about it, but there's going to be some major changes to our website this week. If you are a member, you are going to be able to see some other extra special stuff. Um, so the education is going to come in to the top. I'm moving it from the bottom up to the top because we've been doing so much, especially with all of our one sheets that we've been doing on our networking that I've never shared. Super lame. And um, so that's going to be in there and you're going to have links that you can go to Amazon with if you'd like. But if you're a member, there's also going to be a link into Apricot where then you can download the PDF and you can start making a binder out of all of the one sheets. So even what we did with Greg, uh, I'm still going to make a one sheet off of that. I'm going to take everything that he talked about and the, create a video off of it and make a one sheet. And then you'll be able to download that one sheet and put it into a binder. So members, you can really start putting your education all together where you have it to be super successful. So that is something that you need to be watching the website for this week. You're going to see me start changing things around. Um, and, you know, unless I like key you on it, a lot of times nobody realizes it. So that is one of my jobs this week. All right. You guys ready for the crawl? So Heather Browning got the Coyote Deflators. So we got a crawl magazine or trails magazine. Which one would you want? Which one? Trails or crawl? And drum roll for the winner. Drum roll for the winner. I know. All you girls love binders. So I know how much you all love binders. Makes me excited too. I might have to put a binder together. In fact, I should put a binder together because then I'd be able to keep track of your binders. All right. This one. This is for crawler trails. Morgan Texera. Just changed my filter and it seems I should have done it sooner. <laughs> Would love to win one for future use. Well, Morgan, we didn't get you a filter, but you get the choice between Crawl Magazine or Trails Magazine. So I'll get in touch with you, Morgan, and we'll see which one you want. Yay! I know, such a great plan. Great plan, great plan. So congratulations to Morgan excited about that yes <clears throat> yeah so back to the the binders you guys are like yeah binder city yeah tanya created like the awesomest binder ever for the for the challenge man i should have her ship that to me so i could have it here for next week but that's not gonna happen so anyways so much cool stuff so much education out there and i want to have you guys be able to like contain it the way you want to contain it, of course, but at least I can give it to you in a way where you can print it and you can PDF it and, um, and be awesome in that manner because you always know how this works too, right? We never have what we need when we have internet service. <laughs> so don't leave your binder at home <laughs> when you're trying to wander out and wonder what am I supposed to do, <laughs> right? So there's that. Um, but it's going to be cool. So that will give uh, members another opportunity to jump in, print that PDF. And it also gives you then the chat zone right underneath it to where you guys can chat about that topic even more too, which will forever be open, right? It's forever open. So I think that'll be kind of neat also. Okay, Morgan. Yay. Nice job. Okay. Now, drum roll, please. Drum roll for our Canon filters. Drum roll for our Canon filters. This is very exciting. Um, super stoked to have Canon as a partner to do this giveaway. And um, again, back to make sure that you're getting signed up for tomorrow night or Thursday night. 
where we talked to Adam about labeling and strength capacity of your straps. I know that that's a very big topic. So, Canon air filter. Ah! Where's the drum roll? I don't see them yet. Can't pull till I see some drum rolls come across. We don't have our drum roll people on tonight. Somebody's got to be able to find that icon. Or something. Alright. Alright. That's enough. Are you guys ready? Oh! I just threw one out of the bowl. Okay. The one that got thrown out of the bowl is, of course, the winner. Hey, it's Judith Rhea. I would love to win the Canon filter. Well, Judith, guess what? You just did. <laughs> you got thrown out of the bowl, which means you're a winner. Yay! So Judith Rhea is the Canon filter set winner. So I'll work with you on what kind of vehicle you have so we can get this off to the guys and get you your filters um, and get caught up on all the other giveaways that we have to get caught up on too, which is me. It's all me. So we got lots going on, ladies. But this is exciting. So Gia is the winner of the Canon filter set. Yes. All right. What questions do you all have for me tonight? What do we got going on in the world that you would like me to answer? Tonight we talked about the happy end of our end of March. Woo! There's one for the record books, right? But we also talked about things that you can control. And if you missed the very beginning, make sure that you go back once this is posted and watch the first couple minutes, please. It's gonna. It's a mindset thing. It's a mindset thing. So take a minute and watch the bit. Watch the very beginning again. Um, we did the impact, which congratulations to uh, Trisha Krantz. Wendy Norton put her into the impact, and so she got the bragging bag. We did the shirts where we raised over five hundred dollars for the Jesse Combs Foundation. Nice work, ladies. That's all on you. That was awesome. Uh, we talked about the challenge. Next Tuesday, we open up the signups. We talked about the resolution and how you have so many things that you can work on right now. And I have a dozen more that are coming out. If you're part of the resolution, you have the email that recaps all that. If you're not, you can join us. It is open again and it will be open now for, I don't know, probably through October. Like I'll shut it down just before November so that people don't get in a weird situation, but it's open, all right? So if you have friends that wanna join, if you meet somebody new that wants to join, have them join. Uh, networking, so cool the last couple weeks and excited to have them again this week with a guest, Adam from Step 22. And then of course we just did our giveaways. So again, let's do a huge congratulations to Heather that had the Coyote Deflators. We had Morgan, who either gets trail magazines or crawl magazines. And then Judith got the Canon filters. Yay! I love it. I love it. All right. So what questions do y'all have? Or what do you want to talk about? Or what do you want to do? What's shaking, Bacons? Did we have some questions? Should I scroll up for a second? I didn't see any come by. Anybody have anything they want to talk about? Congratulations. Congratulations. We've got all kinds of cool kids on here tonight. Everybody's on tonight. Yay. Got the binder. Oh, yeah. We were talking about binders. We were talking about all kinds of cool stuff. Um. Oh. Interesting, Esther. Hmm. Yeah. So that's going to have to change, isn't it? So is the leadership call for tomorrow night rescheduled due to the networking event? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Um, didn't put those together because the leadership thing kind of went sideways now that we have no plans. Uh, so, yes. I will get in touch with everybody tonight and I will make a plan. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you for mentioning that. And I'll see if that affects anything else too, but I think 
That was the only thing that we usually did on Wednesdays, huh? Was the leadership call. Okay, so I'll work on that and see what's happening. But do we agree that the networking calls are cool for the Wednesday and Thursday? Like, that makes more sense to me. And then we can do the leadership call maybe on a Monday. That might work out. Yes, no. There's enough people that can give some feedback. I'd appreciate some feedback on that. Another feedback I would love, I think, I'm not really sure, is um, the uh, shirts. So I have black v-neck shirts and teal v-neck shirts. What color logo do you want to see available? So put black and then the color or teal and then the colors because black there's going to be certain colors that work and then teal there's going to be certain colors that work right yes love the love okay good awesome okay cool so feedback is networking is good on wednesdays and thursdays those are kind of feeling like the best days unless i slam it to one day but i also don't really want to do that so I kind of want to keep it on the two days right now, at least to give people options. And then we can go from there. Yeah. Um, so I saw black with blue, teal with pink or white. Monday's good for leadership. Black and white. Yep. Um, networking is awesome. Cool. I love it. Black shirt, teal logo, teal shirt, pink, glitter. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Glitter and then non-glitter. Black with purple. I knew purple was going to come up. Oh, and there's Morgan, too. Yay, Morgan, you won. Black uh, with teal. Monday is good. Black shirt, teal. Yeah. Cool. You guys are rocking it. Black with red. Okay, there's a red. Two days are good for networking. I agree because it just gives so many more people the opportunity. Ooh, teal with silver. Hmm. Okay. Black and green. So basically every color under the moon is what you guys really want. Is that how we're going to do this? Like Charlene, I want green and non-glitter. Oh, this is going to be how this is going to end up, isn't it? It's going to get so crazy. What about the polka dots? The polka dots are pretty much gone. I only have like four polka dots left. I know, that's why Baskin Robbins has 31 flavors. So here's my, I need a story. What's my story of the day? Oh, okay. Here's my story of the day. So. I'll tell you about what I did today. So I had to, I had to run to the shop really fast. So I ran down to the shop and on my way back, I see 31 flavors. Actually, that's a lie. On my way to the shop, I see the Baskin Robbins semi in the parking lot. And they're taking ice cream out of the side door of the semi, like the big rounds, right? Like two pallets worth of ice cream. And I'm like, oh, ice cream and so you just want ice cream so I go down to the shop and then on the way back I'm like <clears throat> we got Arizona got put into the next level of shutdown tonight so I'm like oh my gosh is ice cream gonna be one of the things that gets shut down like this would be a horrible thing Baskin Robbins 31 flavors just got their delivery and then they get shut down tonight like that would be awful well I didn't stop at 31 flavors because I'm kind of a Cold Stone girl. So I went to Cold Stone and, I'm like, and I walked in and I got my Cold Stone and I said, so are you guys shutting down tonight? Or is, you know, are you allowed to stay open? And she's like, no, actually we're allowed to stay open. It just has to be takeout or delivery. And I had the best laugh, literally. I started laughing with this girl. And I'm like, well, at least they see ice cream as essential like this is 
this is good. This is good news. Like, that's an essential food group is ice cream. And, you know, they can shut down the bars, but they can't shut down the ice cream. Like, this is a major thing. <laughs> so I'm laughing about that. Well, so back to a story moment is me driving around the country in the beef, right? So 40 feet, 65 feet in total with the trailer on. And there's moments in time where it is absolutely mandatory to have ice cream. Do you not agree or disagree? Like there are times when you must have ice cream. And Cold Stone, again, as you can tell, is the ice cream of choice. And it was for the girls that were on with me too. Now this did not happen very often. This does not happen very often at all. But there was this one night where ice cream was absolutely mandatory. Like I wasn't going anywhere. Somehow I got locked in my head and we had to go to ice cream. So I Google mapped the ice cream and it's the whole deal. Like I don't have the Jeep off the trailer. Like we're rolling big. Marissa is with me. We're rolling big, 65 feet. You know as well as I know that Cold Stones are not in the easiest shopping centers to get into. Not one of them is. If you've noticed, and you will notice from now on, they are not easy shopping centers to get into. So I am I looked up this Cold Stone, I Google mapped it, and I'm like, I think we can make it. Because it was also pretty late at night, and so I'm like, I think we can make it in and out of this parking lot. I'm not totally sure, but I think so. Yeah, we should never have gotten into that parking lot, for one. Never should have even pulled into the parking lot, but of course, there's other parking lots I should never have pulled into, and I did. And so I got in there, and I'm like, all right. I said, Marissa, get ready to jump out. She already had, like, the order. She already had what I wanted because I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to park or what I was going to be able to do. Yeah, so I didn't park. So I said, jump out, go get the Cold Stone. And I literally, like, luckily there wasn't very many things open. I just kind of parked along the whole front of the shop parked just kind of took up a whole bunch of spaces right up here in front because I couldn't make the turn down any one of the little aisles to get into the parking spots and they all had the concrete in between them so there's no way like I couldn't even make the turn much less if I got in there I couldn't have swung back out anywhere so I pretty much just like sat in the driver's seat with the hazard lights on watching my mirrors well, she went in, got Cold Stone, because this was the priority of the moment. And then she got back in, and I don't know where we went. I don't know how far we drove. Marissa, maybe you remember. Like, it wasn't very far before I'm like, okay, we gotta pull over and eat this, because I want it now. But anyways, there's your funny story of the night. So Cold Stone and ice cream is considered essential, which is spectacular. And then... And then then we went from there. So there's the story. I don't know. Is there another story that you want to hear? Oh, I love it. Oh. Yes. Okay, so basically you guys want every single color there is. That's all there is to it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know that, Jess. So Doug Ducey will keep ice cream as essential service. He did start Cold Stone after all. Really? He is the one that I, I legitimately did not know that. So Doug Ducey is our mayor. If that's the truth, then that's even awesome. Or governor or whatever he is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, ice cream and liquor stores are essential in New York. Exactly. I love it. Oh, Tamika, after a pedicure. Yeah, pedicures are very important also. Uh, who was that? Oh, it was Dana. Yeah, Dana, sorry. So that was Dana in Fresno. That is correct. It was Fresno, wasn't it? I know some of the other girls have ran out too. Um, yeah, so Stephanie said that she is... Uh, appreciative of the resolution too. I can't read the whole thing, but she just did an oil change and she did some other work on her vehicle as well, which is awesome. Oh, that's awesome, Jessica. Thank you for that information. 
I did know that Coldstone headquarters was here because there was a point in time where I was like quitting. Remember that whole story like four years ago? And I'm like, I'm going to go work at Coldstone. That would be like the ultimate job at HQ. Yep, I have seen that up on the 101. I would definitely do that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and Camille said that she used to work there. She worked there for like two years. I'm like, mm. yeah, so I didn't go last night, Camille, but I did go today. Bad plan. Bad plan, good plan. Because look how fast I'm talking. You would never have me talking this fast if I hadn't just eaten a whole bunch of ice cream. <sighs> yeah. Uh, what other questions do you guys have? Are you guys are filling in shirt colors? Because I guess at this point it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to have to get a rainbow of colors and satisfy everybody. And uh, that would just be... Um, yeah. That's what we're going to end up having to do. And then... We're going to end up having to do glitter and non-glitter because we got non-glitter friends and glitter friends. But I will tell you, uh, I got the guy shirts, like the guy collared shirts for you ladies um, that wanted those in the teal and black. And I got the v-neck shirts in the teal and the black. So I think we pretty much have those nailed on which ones we're going to use. So now it's just me getting all the colors sorted out and um, figuring out how in the world you're going to communicate to me what you want on there because my store doesn't work like that. I think it's going to be where you're going to have to put in the notes what color you want on it. That's going to be a mess. That's just going to be a mess. But we'll make it work. And uh, I'll also say when those go up, it's not going to be a flash flash sale. It's not going to be like, hey, I'm going to ship these in one month. It will be, I'm going to try and ship them pretty regularly. So every week or a couple weeks, we'll try and get them out uh, so that you guys can get them faster than that. Because it's nice for me personally to be able to bulk make them and bulk ship them. But I do understand I don't want you guys waiting forever in a day to get them. So we're going to try and keep it a little bit, a little bit more timely. Like we do not ship every day. Nicole is the shipper. So when Nicole comes over, Nicole ships. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's the game. And she is not here every day. Um, what questions do you have? Oh, uh, I don't know. Do you think sweet tea ice cream would even taste good? Hmm. I don't know. Let's not try it because I'm going to have some serious challenges after that. Serious challenges. Oh. <laughs> Nicole says, I'll pick all the logos for you. Lots of brownies and salads will be consumed during the multiple logo processes. Yeah, so, so here's another thing. If you come and work in the office on a week weekend, uh, I have learned about the Domino's takeout. Like the Domino's app. And the worst part about the Domino's app is they have brownies. And the brownies come warm. And they're amazing. So we can eat a salad. I don't think I've ever even ordered a pizza from Domino's. We can have a salad or the bread. What is it? The, the spinach ricotta bread. Have you guys tried that? The spinach ricotta bread from Domino's? It's amazing. So one of you girls turned me on to it. Or we have sandwiches or whatever whatever they want <laughs> I ordered those but really what I'm ordering is the brownies because I mean we all work for brownies right like at the end of the day <laughs> and you wonder why I have to get on my mountain bike every day yeah so about that <laughs> awesome all right are you guys done are we having fun we have networking tomorrow night and Thursday night where you guys get to talk I don't have to talk anymore so awesome. I'm going to get a, uh, um, a, net, a uh, education lined up for tomorrow. It's almost finished. So you get an education for me and then one from Adam. And we should be good. It should be a ton of fun. And that is the next two nights. And then next week we have the, um, the challenge. And we have a giveaway. And we got to figure out the leadership call and 
Yeah. Of course, um, I'm looking at the calendar. That's what I'm looking at. Of course, you do realize we're not having networking week. So that's off the calendar. Um, anything physical, we will say is off the calendar until you hear from me otherwise. I just really want to be, um, I want to be extremely cautious and responsible. Okay, so I want to be responsible to you. I want to be responsible to Lady Software Network. I want to be responsible to our community that we don't do something that we shouldn't be doing. And that's my position and that's my role in all of this is let's just be responsible. So instead of me saying, hey, we're going to get together and do this, it's, hey, we're going to get online and do this. So I'm just trying to provide a lot more responsible opportunities for everybody. And I hope that it will help you with your time as well because we're all outside people. We're all go, go, go people. I know it's a challenge for all of us. Again, if you missed the very beginning, go back to the first four minutes, five minutes of this once we turn it down um, because it is really important for you to remember that you have, you have the mindset. You have things that you can control even when you don't think you can control them. So, yeah. Yeah, Joe Marie, our calendar has completely become irrelevant. I'm so glad I put it together. <laughs> I mean, it was a good plan, but I'll tell you what, those top sayings are very interesting, aren't they? Like, who would have ever thought that March top saying would be old ways won't open new doors? Like, hello, if that wasn't something to be said, right? And then April, it's always too early to give up. Hello, ladies. April, it's always too early to give up. Yes. What's May? Do we want to know? Oh, May. Good people bring out good in people. <coughs> good people bring out the good in people. Yes, yes, and yes. All right. Until tomorrow. We will see you then. Everybody say your goodnights and your goodbyes and your hellos and your goodbyes. And if you're just tuning in, make sure you go back and watch the first five minutes, please. It really is important. I think that you'll really enjoy it. All right. On that note, good night. Did you say your goodbyes? Are there any goodbyes? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Say I see you tomorrow. All right. Instagram has been kicked off. <laughs> All right, there's Instagram. Everybody said your goodbyes over here on Facebook land. Goodbye. Good night. Hasta luego. Until tomorrow. Until Thursday. Make sure that you get registered so you can get that link. That's really important. Yes, yes. All right, I'm going to get to work on the website. We got lots of website stuff going on. You didn't know I was a data programmer or two in the background. Cut my nails so I'm ready to type. Yeah, that's what that's all about. <laughs> all right, bye. We're saying goodbye. For real this time. Bye.